Shalom, Shalom, Shabbat Adonai, Shema Israel Adonai, Eloheinu Adonai Ehad. Welcome to another Six Exodus program. This segment here is going to be very interesting to you. Uh, I have several names that are in the Bible and several titles. And my Hebrew, my real Hebrew name is Uriel. It's my surname. But I want to tell you a secret. My name is Yeshurun. The Lord changed my name. Both names the Lord gave me. And as you can listen to these, these uh, recordings, these audio, you will see more about who the Lord have me and these roles are. Very soon we'll have a website coming out. It's called oneyeshurun.com and you can know more about Yeshurun and Yeshurun's role because the world cannot tell you about Yeshurun because Yeshurun, God have hid Yeshurun because you have been killing, Gentiles have been killing God's people since 1526 until even today. So God hid Yeshurun in different parts of the world. All over the world, Yeshurun has been. Because so God has sent me all over the world. And I had a chance to look at Gentiles, how they serve and how they don't serve God and how they do keep his laws and they don't keep his laws. But I want to talk to you today about the blood, the moon becoming the blood. And I also want to talk to you about Uriah becoming the moon. In the book of Enoch, chapter 73, I'm going to start reading there until chapter 80. And then I'll come back and I'm going to try to piece some things together. The book of Enoch, chapter 73. And after this law, I saw another law dealing with the smaller luminary, which is named the moon. And her circumference is like the circumference of the heaven and her chariot in which she rides is driven by the wind and the light is given to her in definite measures and she rises in settings changes every month and her days and her days are like the days of the sun and when her light is uniform meaning i.e. full it amounts to seven parts of the light of the sun and thus she rises and her first phase in the east come from the 30th morning. And on that day, she becomes visible. I want to tell you, on the 30th of October, Yeshurun, which is Uriah, will become visible. I will become, the, I will have the light of the moon. The God of heaven and earth is going to give me the light of the moon. It is for you, Israel. To know that the Lord of heaven and earth has sent me as your ensign beginning October the 30th you can see my light you can see my light and it will continue to rise well I'll read it and then you can be able to know and you can read it for yourself and in her place and in her first phase the east come forth on the 30th morning and on that day she becomes visible and constitutes for you the first phase of the moon on the 30th day together with the sun and the portal where the sun rises and in one half of her goes forth by a seventh part and her whole circumference is empty without light with the exception of one seventh part of it and the fourteenth part of her light and when she received one seventh part of her half of her light and her light seven amounts to one seventh part of her half thereof and she sets with the sun and when the sun rises the moon rises with him and receive the half and one half part of her light and in the night, in the beginning of her 
morning and the commencement of her lunar day. The moon sets with the sun and is visible that night with the 14th part and on the half of the one of them. And when she arises on that day with exactly a seventh part, she comes forth and receives from the rising of the sun, and in her remaining days she becomes bright, and the remaining thirteen parts. And I saw another course for her laws, and how according to that law she performs her monthly revolutions. And all these Uriel, I'm saying Uriel, the holy angel, who is leader of them all, showed me their positions, and I wrote down their positions, and he showed me, he showed them to me. And I wrote down their three months, their months, as they were, and the appearance of their lights, till fifteen days were accomplished. In a single seventh part, she accomplished all her lights in the east, and in the single seventh part accomplished all her darkness in the west, and in certain months she alters her settings, and in her certain months she pursues her own, own particular course, and in two months the moon sets with the sun, and those two middle parts, the third and the fourth, she goes forth in the seventh day and turns about and returns again through the portal where the sun rises and accomplish all her light and she recedes from the sun and in eight days enters the set the sixth portal from which the sun does goes forth and when the sun goes forth from the fourth portal she goes forth seven until she goes forth from the fifth and turns back again into the seventh day into the fourth portal and accomplish all her lights and she receives and enters into the eighth the first portal in eight days and she returns again in seven days into the fourth portal from which the sun goes forth thus I saw this position, how the moon rose and set in those days. And if five years are added together, the sun has overplus of 30 days, and all the days which occurred to it is one of those five years when they all are full amounts to 364 days, and the overplus of the sun and the stars amounts to six days in five years six days every hour comes to thirty days and the twelve moon falls behind the sun and the stars in the number of thirty days and the sun and the stars bring all the years exactly so that they do not advance or delay their positions by one single day until eternity but complete the year with perfect justice in 364 days and three in three years there are 1,092 days and in five years there are 1,820 days so that in eight years there are 2,912 days for the moon alone the day amounts in three years to 1,062 days and in five years she falls 50 days behind i.e. to the sum of 1,770 there is five to add 1,062 days and in five years there are 1,770 days so that for the moon and the days are six and eight years amounts to 21,832 days. For in eight years she falls behind in the amount of 80 days. And the 17 days she falls behind, eight years are 80. 
and the years are accurately completed in conformity with the world stations and the stations of the sun from rises from their portal through which it rises. The sun rises and set 30 days. Chapter 75 And the leaders and the heads of the thousands who were placed over the whole creation and over all the stars have all those to do with the four intercalary days being inseparable from their office according to the reckoning of the year. And these render service on the four days which are not reckoned but reckoning of the year. And only of them men go wrong therein for those luminaries truly render service on the world on the world station one of the first portal and one of the third portal of the heavens and one of the fourth portal and one of the sixth portal and exactness of the year is accomplished through its separation 364 stations where the signs and the times of the year and the days of the angel Uriel showed me whom the Lord God has glory forever and ever of the three illuminaries of the heavens in the heavens and in the world that they shall rule the face of the heavens and to seen on the earth and the leaders of that day and that night the sun the moons and the stars and all the ministering creatures which make their revolution and all their chariots of the heavens in like manner twelve doors Uriel showed me opening in the circumference of the sun's chariot and the heaven through which the rays of the sun break forth and from them the warmth and diffuses over the earth when they are open at their appointed seasons and as for the wind and the spirit of the day when they are opening standing and the heavens and the ends and the twelfth powers and the heavens and the end of the earth out of which goes forth the sun and the moon and the stars and all the works of heaven in the east and in the west there are many windows open in the left and the right of them and one window at its appointed season produces one corresponding as to those doors which from the sun come forth, the stars come forth, according to as he had commanded them, which in they set corresponding to their number. And I saw the chariots in heaven running in the world above in the portals which are revolved, and the stars never set. And one is larger than all of those that set and it is that that makes the course through the entire world chapter 76 and at the end of the earth I saw twelve portals opening to all the portals of heaven from which the wind go forth to blow over the earth three of them were open on the face of the east of heaven and the three to the west and there was one on the right in the south and of the heavens and three on the left and three first of those on the east and there are four from the north and three after those on the left and the south are three in the west through four of the of these come the winds come from a blessing and prosperity and from the eight comes harmful winds when they are sent during destruction upon the earth and on the water upon it and all that dwell upon or everything which is in the water and on the land and the first wind from those portals called the east wind coming forth through the first portal which is in the east inclining toward the south from it came forth desolation and drought heat and destruction and through the, the second portal in the middle come forth 
a fittering, and from it came rain and fruitfulness and prosperity and dew. And through the third portal, which lies toward the north, comes cold and drought. And after these came forth the south wind, through these portals, through the first portal, and through the inclining of the east, come forth the hot wind. And through the middle portal, next to it, there came forth fragrant smells, and dew, and rain, prosperity, and health. And through the third portal, lying on the west, come forth dew, and rain, locals, and desolation. And after these, the north wind, and the seventh portal, and the east come forth dew, rain, locals, and desolation. And from the middle portal comes in a direct direction of health, rain, dew, and prosperity. And through the third portal in the west comes clouds, hoar frost, snow, rain, and dew, and locusts. And after these four are in the west, winds through the fifth portal adjoining to the north come forth dew and horror frost and cold and snow and frost and from the middle portal come forth dew and rain and prosperity and blessing and through the last portal which adjoins south come forth drought and desolation and bringing destruction and the twelfth portal of the four quarters of heaven are therewith complete and all the laws are their plagues and all the benefactors have I shown thee into my son Methuselah. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Um, I read you all those things because I want you to know and you can hear yourself but the book of Enoch is a black book and it's written in gold. And they got on the front of the prophet Enoch. But I told you all that to say this to you. Is that Uriah is going to transform a transfigure. Transform is not the right word. Transfigure into the sun. My first rising will be October the 30th. My full light as far as transferring light to me from the Son, that means the Father. The Father would trans transfer His light to me. And you'll be able to see me shining on the 11th of November. If I understand the book of Enos correctly, the 11th of November, you should see your brother, Uriah. Now, I want to tell you a secret. There's going to be complete darkness that's going to come upon the earth starting November, I mean, I'm sorry, October the 30th. It's going to start, complete darkness are going to start coming upon the face of the earth. God is going to shake up the heavens. Now I want to tell you another secret about the, uh, the moon. The moon is going to turn into blood. That is me, your brother, your, uh, Uriah. I am the blood that the moon is going to turn into. The moon, the, blood, the moon is going to turn into blood. That's me. That means the, the moon, I'm going to become the moon. I know it sounds really difficult. It sounds difficult to me when I first read it, when God showed it to me. I didn't believe it myself. But it's a true thing. I'm going to become the real moon. It is all for God's people. Because God is going to redeem it. So uh, I want you to I want you to I want to read you these scriptures. Joel chapter two and verse number thirty-one. The sun will be turned into darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Matthew chapter twenty-four and verse number twenty-nine. Immediately after the distress of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky. And the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Mark 13 and 24. But in those days following the distress, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give her its light. Luke 21 and 25. 
there will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. In the earth, the nations will be anguished and perplexity at the, at the roaring and the tossing of the sea. Acts 2 and 20, the sun will be turned into darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. Acts 2 and 20, the sun will be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great day, the glorious day of the Lord. Revelation 6 and 12, I watched as he opened the sixth seal, and there was a great earthquake, and the sun turned black as sackcloth, and made it like goat hair, and the moon turned red as blood. Hey, people, God, there you have it. So, I guess you can look for the rising sometime uh, between October. To, I don't think you have to come and looking for me. I think you can maybe see it on the news. I think it's gonna, it's gonna. I think it'll start shining uh, enough for my neighbors to wake up and for the people in the police department to wake up. But God is doing this for you, Israel, and for the, and you can be able to come and touch me, and you can see that I am no illusion, that I'm real. And you can know that God's people are real because I have a testimony to tell them who are the true Hebrews. And Hebrews, this means get ready to go. And I want the bands, black colleges and bands, get your instruments, start sleeping by them. So when it's time to go, you grab your instruments because we're going to be praying, praising the Lord all the way to Israel. Southern University, Grambling, Florida a and Alabama State, Tuskegee. Get your instruments ready because we're going to praise the Lord. Dancers, y'all be ready too because I want all y'all be with me. Hallelujah.